Pulses are an uh, integral part of the diets of Indians and uh, important sources of protein, minerals, micronutrients and uh, uh, fiber uh, in the diet. They are also integral part of the cropping systems and help in uh, improving fertility and uh, sustainability of the cropping system. Um, on an average, uh, Indians uh, consume about 22 million tons of pulses whereas the production is about 18 million tons and as a result uh, there is a deficit above, above about 4 million tons which is made through import. So Indian government is very serious to enhance uh, pulses production in India and to have self-sufficiency in pulses. And there are ample opportunities uh, for enhancing uh, pulse production in India. If we see that eastern states, uh, for example, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, West Bengal and Assam, there is large area of uh, uh, land which remains fallow after the rainy season rice crop. And these large rice fallows uh, provide opportunity of taking another crop and where we can take uh, post rainy season pulses like uh, wheat, um, lentil and uh, lathras. So what we need to do is that uh, you know, if we go in a mission mode for promoting pulses in this area, take all the technologies and uh, take cluster of demonstrations, it's possible to bring uh, 2 to 3 million hectare area, additional area under pulses in these uh, um, regions. And in other states where we have large areas like uh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Karnataka, um, uh, Andhra Pradesh, in these states uh, we can uh, enhance productivity because the yield levels are currently very low, about uh, 800 kg per hectare, where, and there is a large gap, yield gap from uh, the average yield and the yield obtained in the best management practices. So what we need to do in these areas is to make all efforts to enhance adoption of uh, um, improved cultivars and uh, production technologies. And for that uh, we have to you know, involve farmers, do a lot of uh, farmers participatory um, research and uh, extension activities and also you know, uh, empower them uh, for the knowledge. We also need to improve uh, the seed system so that the farmers have access to seeds and also we need to improve access to other inputs to the farmers. In addition to that, uh, if uh, India needs to, you know, uh, for the long term sustainability of the uh, production of pulses, uh, we need to uh, invest in uh, research and we need to develop, uh, I will say, better varieties which are uh, adapted to different agroecologies and uh, resilient to climate change and which meet the requirements of the uh, diverse requirements of the consumers and the industries. So there are opportunities where we can, uh, we can develop varieties, uh, better drought tolerant, heat tolerant, you know, and uh, uh, I will say that uh, with uh, uh, responsive to high input conditions which can go in northern India and also uh, the uh, nutritionally uh, rich varieties like high protein varieties, um, uh, varieties rich in an iron and zinc, all these things uh, will help uh, in future uh, to enhance uh, productivity and nutritional uh, nutrition of people in India.